اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہو my name is Mariam Lemu and I promised that I would be talking about marriage my absolute favorite topic during this episode I want to talk about self-awareness as a key ingredient to a successful marriage now often when we find ourselves in the middle of conflict or when a relationship is deteriorating we often look outwards we find fault in whatever it is that our spouse is doing and we magnify that forgetting that we we may be contributing to re the relationship deteriorating and we may be contributing to the biggest problem in the relationship because we do not look and see what it is that we are doing wrong. When my fights with my husband Said reached a point where we were really, well I was considering divorce and um, this was about five to six years down the line. The yelling, the shouting, feeling disrespected, anger, um, feeling misunderstood, frustration that we both felt. Um, it was not fun, it was very exhausting, we were both tired. And this obviously was not why we got together and that was really the disturbing part. I had discovered that I had forgotten the reason why we had gotten married. Now never lose sight of why you got married. Never lose sight of your spouse's endearing qualities. Unfortunately, I had allowed the conflict to make me blind, to make me lose sight of his qualities. It had brought out a side of me that made me look ugly, that made me look very mean and very vindictive. I had lost sight also of my own qualities, my own good qualities, because I was so embroiled in the toxic environment that we were in. Unfortunately, this is not who I was. That is the sad thing. This ugliness that came out of me deep inside is not who my character is. It wasn't my brand. It's so important to have a brand and a code of conduct and never stoop down. Don't stoop low when you find yourself angry or in the middle of a fight with your spouse. Don't lower your standard just because of your spouse's behavior. So if they are behaving in a mean manner, don't respond blow for blow. Don't mirror their behavior. Don't allow yourself to become ugly like I did. I knew I wasn't perfect and that I was also part of the problem in the quarrels we were facing and the conflict that existed. I also wanted to resolve this problem. This isn't how marriage is meant to be. So I decided to start with myself and look within. I had to do some serious introspect, but I did something with chill, which till today my husband talks about. And that is I asked him to tell me what it is about my character that he feels I should work on, I should improve upon, or that he doesn't like. And also what it is that I was doing that he felt were adding value to the relationship. But I did ask him to be merciful. I wanted to make sure that I didn't end up finding myself dissected and a heap of emotions on the floor, shattered. Um, Alhamdulillah for me. He responded very positively and surprisingly he asked me to do the same. So we both shared our notes of what it is we didn't want or we didn't like about each other and what we loved about each other that we wanted to continue. Now one of the toughest thing is actually hearing about your character flaws. It's very very hard to hear the truth and take it with a straight face but one has to do this if you really want personal growth and if you have reached a stage where you need to be aware of yourself. That's why I talk about self-awareness as a key ingredient to a successful marriage. Another thing I did was I asked Saeed to remind me tactfully anytime that he sees I'm going off course. So not when I start to do it, he says, eh, that is exactly what I'm talking about. You're doing it again. No, 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 no. Um, my husband found a very respectful and tactful way of pulling me back on course. Like one of the things he complained about with me is that I have a big mouth, I talk too much. And sometimes I get a little carried away when we're in public and uh, he gives me a signal. He just signals me and squints his eyes a little bit. And I know it's time for me to pull my brakes and slow down. So Alhamdulillah, this thing about finding a middle ground um, and an opportunity for you to hear what it is you're doing wrong and also be corrected and be guided and be reminded is really a great way to improve yourself. Now, Saeed is not perfect, far from it, but he's perfect for me. And I am far, far from perfect. But I know that for the relationship to improve, I need to hear what it is about me he doesn't like so that I can improve upon it. And like I said, he gave me the same opportunity. 
Now I continue to talk to myself. I learned to be very self-aware and very real with myself. I looked in the mirror a lot at my flaws, my character flaws, and I tried my best to work on it. I would ask myself several questions. Some of them would be, would I want to be married to a person like me? Would I want to live with someone like me? Am I attractive both inside and out? Are my qualities, is my character attractive? That is the inside. Have I done my purification of my heart? Am I a good person? And then do I take care of myself on the outside so that he would find me attractive? Am I a pleasure to be around? Do I add value to him and to the relationship? Do I lift his spirits up? Am I encouraging of him and his plans and expectations and so on? Am I his cheerleader, the chairperson of his supporters club? Can I trust myself to be by his side during the ups and the downs, the goods, the bads and the ugly times that are ahead? Now, the things that I wanted from my husband before I got married, do I have those qualities myself? Am I that same person? Do I have the qualities? Would I want to come home to someone like me? Am I committed to the relationship? Sadly, I had a lot of work to do. And this reality check, this introspect, this self-awareness was a real turning point in our relationship. And I ask you please to do the same. Play back this video and write down all these questions and then ask yourself these questions. Be truthful to yourself, be real with yourself. Have the courage to ask your spouse to share what it is about you they don't like because this is a way of strengthening the relationship and growing and be sincere in your intentions when you do it. And most importantly, after hearing all these things and becoming more self-aware, work on it. Start to build yourself improve upon yourself and continue to grow and inshallah Allah will make it easy for you Allah will fill in the blanks inshallah during the next episode I'll be sharing with you more tips of what worked for me and how to strengthen your relationship with your spouse if you enjoyed this and any of the other episodes that I have shared please forward this on to other people and let it be of benefit to them um, you can follow me on Facebook or you can join my YouTube channel and inshallah there will be many many more to come May Allah continue to strengthen the bond between you and your spouse and continue to courage and the strength to look in the mirror and see who you really are and help you build on your great qualities. Assalamu alaikum.